Thomas Scott here. I've got a very short video for you on how to change the rear brake pads on a Toyota Corolla, a 2007 model. It's a very simple project, um, so it's worth having a go at yourself. So I hope you find this video interesting. Thanks for watching. Awesome, isn't it? <laughs> so these calipers on the Corolla are sliding calipers. So there's only a piston on one side, and that's here on this side. So when you put your foot on the brake, the piston is pushed out and the forces are transferred over to the other side to balance it out via these sliding pins there and there. So the way to remove the pads is to undo the two um, caliper pins, the sliding pins. So there's a 14mm bolt there and a 14mm bolt down the bottom there. So Gareth. Yes? Oh yeah, comes. There you go. Oh, bloody hell. That's right. That wasn't hard. <laughs> That's it. Well done. Here's our new pads. Now we're putting the inside pad into position. That's it. Placing the outside pad into position. Just slides in. Here's the special tool. This is a homemade one for pushing the pistons back into the caliper body. Uh, you have to turn the piston whilst applying force to it to get it back into the body. So you can buy these tools um, if you search on eBay, or you can make one yourself with a, a bolt and a bit of plate. So Gareth is, is just adjusting the special tool to get it fitted into the caliper. So you can see the, the four points there, the, the two little studs on the end of the tool have to push against these faces here to be able to turn it around. Yep, you've got that in position now, that's good. So what I'm doing here is holding the 17mm nut on the back there and I'm going to turn this hopefully you can see in the video but it's turning the piston but at the same time it's putting a force on it and pushing it in. If you've got new pads you need to push this all the way in. <laughs> will it stop when it's all the way in? It'll resist. It will. So while your caliper's off, just check the sliding pins. These things should be moving freely. And in this case they are. It's very important that they move freely because that's how the force is transferred from this pad across to that pad through these pins. If they're not moving freely, you just pull them out. There's a rubber boot and you just pull these pins out like that and you can put new you can clean them up and you can put new grease on them and then put them back in again like that so just make sure you check so we've wound the piston back in with our special tool and now we can slip the caliper over the top of the new pads so we're just going to put a little dab of loctite on the bolt there we go we can put the top one back in. So we're holding the pin with a 17mm ring spanner and tightening the bolt with a 14mm socket. Okay, that's it. Okay. That's it. No, that's it. So now we're talking the wheel nuts to 110 newton meters. <laughs> 